Yo, what it do YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a Money, and we are back inside the Hyper Butter Creation Chamber. And this is another action to Ruby. Yes, guys, this is Ruby, Volume 7, Chapter 4. Alright, guys, Chapter 4. Man, we last left off Chapter 3. Man, we had everybody's new drip. Everybody had new drip. From Ruby to Yang to John to Ren to Nora, everybody, everybody, everybody. And uh, really nice. They had some weapon upgrades too. Now, for the most part, I like everybody's outfit. Really do. They really do. Some of y'all say it's meh. So some of y'all, some of y'all say, oh, why they had to change it? And some people, you know, people, some people like it. Um, my only problem, my only thing, my only little nitpick about it is John, because he is my, he is my best boy. He's still my best boy. But uh, I ain't gonna lie. Some some stuff like Ren's little little arm sleeve he got going on, and you know, Queen Weiss's little 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 uh. The uh, big ass braid back there, like oh hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. So yeah, besides that, man. Besides that, we also saw everybody else. Uh, Atlas's uh, A Atlas's finest and their semblances, and they all all are pretty damn cool. So let's go ahead and see what happens next, guys. Let's do it. Without further ado, the video will be played right here in this corner. This is Ruby, Volume Seven, Chapter Four, right now. I can't wait for this full song to come out. <laughs> oh shit, chills. <laughs> chills. Alright guys, chapter four. Can you believe it? We're already on chapter four. Holy shit. The mothership. We have some phonus. Phonus. <laughs> Oh yeah, just that crow just reminded me Tyrion to show Liz back. But you guys were incredible. <laughs> All the way yes, down really the worry. I wasn't just win Tactics out, you just knew exactly what to do. Well, Aesop's are handpicked to perfectly complement one another. So we can focus on our assets and leave our liabilities behind. Some of us are all asset, zero liability. <laughs> huh? Yeah? Think I've got some liabilities, Elm? My man's right there is cool. <laughs> uh, you did ask. Hi. Do you know oh, yeah. your friend? Our pair name can be Thunder Thighs. Thunder Y'all came up with that before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to have my friends backs just like that. Friends. You got a little rooster teeth for uh, side of the Look at Nora. Kid. Yes, ma'am. But I mean, when you go through so much with someone, it kind of changes things, doesn't it? We get along well enough, sure. I count on them to keep me alive. 
they do the same. But that's a job. We don't confuse the two. Speaking of the job... Duty ever beckons. You all hang back a second. Thunder thighs. What do you guys want to do when we get back to Atlas? A sightseeing? Oh, what should we visit first? <sighs> How about our buds? Oh, come on, guys! This is a great time to go exploring. We haven't done that in so long. Ruby, we just explored a whole continent on foot before flying to this one. Well, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. it's only the boring parts. We almost died. <laughs> That's coming from Yang. Hey. Heads up. Can I get the team leaders over here? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. What's you going on, go. Ironwood? I need you on the ground, but be subtle. If people see too many huntsmen milling around, they'll get nervous. And Clover? Don't take Murrow. <laughs> He's cool. I gotta stop sleeping on my boy. New problems in Mantle? More of the same, unfortunately. Someone in Mantle is taking up public leaders who speak out against Atlas. Specifically, people who speak out against me. It didn't look like a pattern at first, but this is the third murder of its kind in the last week. Wait a minute. That's the guy that rode with us after we were arrested. Right. He died? Your opposition in Mantle dropping dead isn't exactly a good look for you, huh? I'm not really worried about my public image, but it is causing unrest. I think someone's trying to frame me, and by extension, Atlas. And it's working. Well, oh, if it wasn't shit. for the embargo making everybody so mad, people probably wouldn't be so quick to blame you for everything else. <clears throat> Sir. <laughs> no, no, you're right. Things in Mantle have been hard to manage lately. I'm not blind to its issues. In fact, that's what I want to talk to you about. With the launch of this mobile communications tower and tensions down in Mantle, I think there's a lot of good your teams can do here. What? Already? Here? No, it's fine. What, Grim? Let him land. Oh, I'll okay, deal with him myself. Mind. More Mantle problems? No. This one's an Atlas problem. Is that who I think it is? That, is that the Schneels? Yep. Yep. So we know. Get this straight, James. In addition Papa to the sensical embargo of yours crippling my business, you've also decided you have the authority to commandeer private property. When the council hears about this, you will never. Actually, I've already informed them. As this is now the site of a classified military operation, it didn't even require a vote. Didn't require a vote? You might want to brush up on council. Long time no see. Use this upcoming election, John. Now, I've allowed you to land here once as a courtesy. The next time, it won't be a friendly reception. Lately, you seem to forget who your friends really are. I'm going to get that council seat, James, and maybe then you'll... Hello, your beautiful you... daughter. You wrote my missing daughter into these schemes of yours, too? How long has she been back in Atlas? Did Winter know about this? It was this? my decision to come here. So Just cute. like it was my decision to leave. Or have you forgotten all about that? If you think I'm one to forget anything, girl, then you've misjudged the man your father is. Believe me, I know exactly the kind of man you are. How dare you speak to me that way! I have half a mind to- Half a mind to what, Jacques? Ground her. You know, your mother was devastated when you left. Oh, he Didn't pulling that card for days. You know how she gets when she's upset. I knew one day you would overextend your reach. I didn't come here to beg for an abandoned mine. I came here to thank you for personally handing me the noose to hang you. You'll regret this. So these are the little friends you threw everything away for. 
not friends. Family. Yes, sir. It's okay. The first time's always, you know, get you a little adrenaline when you stand up to your parents. Oh, now you show up, Winter. Oh, you hey, just Winter. Missed father. I wouldn't say I missed. <laughs> Surprise! Yes. Uh, did we not start yet? Hi, Penny. <laughs> Apparently, we haven't. Start what? It goes without saying that this arena holds a significance to all of us. It's only fitting that we should be able to reconvene here, now, when the world needs lie, to guys. be brought together more than ever. The road you've traveled from our first meeting hasn't been easy. You fought for your school and your friends at Beacon. You fought for the world and the innocent at Haven Academy and beyond. You face down terrors people can't even fathom. That's not the behavior of students. It's the behavior of huntsmen and huntresses. I'm not gonna lie guys, arenas with Penny in it, it, it kind of reminds me of back then. Wait. Just had major PTSD. What is this? You are being granted your huntsman licenses. Really? Okay. I know this is coming a little ahead of schedule, but really? my brothers know you deserve it. I only regret that I couldn't do something a little more ceremonious for the occasion. I, we, it's, it's so we're sudden, honored, but General Ironwood, hell yeah. But you really don't have Please. to do this. With the threat of Salem still out there and tensions rising in our kingdom, I certainly could use more trustworthy fighters by my side. I should be so lucky to have all of you. It's okay. It's a big moment. And what better way than to celebrate here? When this tower is ready and communications are back up and running, we'll tell the world about Salem and face down whatever comes at us after that. Together. Some celebration time. That's just about all the pomp I have in me. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back to running this operation. Um, well then, enjoy the cake. You know, if this was shonen, if this was a Your shonen anime. Your are improving, sir. After this would have been halfway done, over by I now. I almost forgot this is what I wanted in the first the place. Show. When Beacon yeah. fell, I didn't think this would even be possible. It almost feels trivial now. Jeez, guys, lighten up a little. Enjoy yourselves for a change. You've earned it. Finally, someone said it. Let's kill some cake, huh? Because I could eat two slices before Ren even eats one. Who says I can't? Who says it, huh? Nora, I believe nobody is arguing with you about this. <laughs> yeah, they got their huntress, like the huntress license. You know, at that, now that brings major PTSD. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I know you want to pull the trick one of these days. Big day for you, huh, kiddo? It's definitely a lot to take in. Which part? Finally getting the Atlas part, getting your license part, or they're not quite disclosing everything to Ironwood part. <laughs> or all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. I'm trying to do what I think is best, but I really can't tell if what's best is what's right. Or if I'm no different from Oz. Ruby, Oz only trusted himself with the whole truth. You're trusting others. You're making sure they prove themselves first. I think that's a pretty big difference. I hope so. This says I'm a huntress now, but yeah. I don't feel like I know much more than I did at Beacon. I understand that part. That I really do. Never goes away. It seems rushed. Your mom, Summer, would be proud of you. Her last mission. Was that another Oz secret? Hmm. There were a lot of those back in our day. But this one was a summer secret. When she didn't come back, Ospin seemed just as in the dark as myself and your father. Wow. Still, who knows what he may have hidden from us over the years. What do you think she would have done if she learned the truth about Salem? 
that she can't be destroyed. Pressed on, I think. Like you. She was always the best of us. A bit of a brat, though. <laughs> but hey, I like brats. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ruby. Come check this out. <gasps> oh my gosh, is that a mission board? It's an app now? <gasps> Can we ride a Megalith? Stop an underground crime ring? Do I get to go? Undercover. Oh, hey, nice food. Hey, oh. Hey, you guys smell that? <laughs> Smells like fresh meat. That's odd. I don't smell meat. <laughs> Neither do I. <sighs> you know what? Never mind. Let me get this straight. <laughs> You've only been official for an hour now, and you're already looking for huntsman work? To be fair, we've been official for a whole 57 minutes. I'd like to remind you all that the real mission here is ensuring the successful launch of the communications tower. True, but we can also keep training and improving by helping where we can. <sighs> the enthusiasm of youths! Well, yes. it's hard to argue with that. Reminds me so much of okay, let me show you how it works. Ooh, here's an important one. Who wants to volunteer? All yes. right, we need someone to escort children to pre-primary school down in Mantle. There's not actually any danger, but the parents fret, and that attracts Grim. Mm. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, Juan, Juan, Jim? Jean. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> wow. My first huntsman mission. Gordon Keys. A magic saber is loose in the Mantle sewers. We need two brave warriors to flush it out. Oh. Hey, hey, what, but Pick Nora. Why didn't I get a choice for that one? <laughs> <laughs> he was not in on the uh, on the thing. <laughs> I just, I feel it. Go ahead, bring him in. Hi, right, there he is. Have a visitor. I told you I didn't want to be disturbed. Why did you let them in? I didn't. He let himself in. Is it what? A spitting image of yep. you, this lad, Chuck. Creepily so, I might add. He's definitely inherited your <laughs> affect. Arthur. Whitley, leave us. And shut the door. I said shut the door. I didn't so go well. You're supposed to be dead. That is what I wanted people to think. You're right. However, I've heard things about you too, Jacques. Namely, that you have an ironwood problem. That bastard is costing me more money every day with this embargo. I'd lay off every employee in Mantle if I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What if I said you could have your cake and eat it too? Oh boy. All right, guys, there you have it. That was chapter four of Ruby volume seven. All right, so Ruby, Ruby, our favorite little redhead of the show and pretty much almost of all, uh, she has officially obtained, did her uh, accomplish her dream of becoming a professional huntress. She has a huntress license. He is a huntress. Now, like I said, I mentioned earlier, uh, if this was a shonen anime, a shonen anime all the way through, the show would have been either a season or like this would have been. It would have been almost over. The only thing left to do now is the butt pull. Is the butt pull away to beat Salem? But thankfully, it's not. Uh, so yeah, yeah. That's so. I'm happy that they all got their their huntress, their hunters and huntress licenses. It's just. It does. It just feels rushed that they that they got them. Not not from the show's mistake, but from you know what from story story wise. You know, it's just like holy shit. Oh, uh, all right. Well, you sure this is a good idea? That kind of thing. Uh, it just feels like you know because they, they're still learning a lot. They really are. And but hey, it's official. It's official. So congrats to congrats to the team Ruby and John Nora Ren everybody. They got their licenses. Now, we seen Papa Schnee and we seen oh, I almost call him what? What's his name? Whitley? So, yeah, yeah. I call him Shitley all the time. But, uh, yeah, we seen him. So, they're back. 
Um, look just look just about the same as them. They good to see you, kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, they got their politics, their politics going on, button heads with Ironwood, and Doctor Watts is there. He got some kind of damn plan, and I, we're going to see that side of Papa Schnee. We're going to see that side uh, in the upcoming chapters. So yeah, man. So yeah, really nice episode. It was a really nice episode, and I, I just I just love the Nora when she when she was love Nora when she said Thunder Thighs right there because I remember y'all was calling her Thunder th- th- uh, Thunder Thighs. Uh, back in the previous chapters or anything like that, just really throw that name around. The fact that you know Rooster Teeth, hey, Rooster Teeth, does, Rooster Teeth does listen to folk, listen to us as a fandom on some little things and, and cameo some of that stuff in there, and I loved that, loved it. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, what y'all thought about that? If you like to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'm sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.